Hello everybody and welcome to the third part of our 6.9 mud truck build and today I'm going to be building a few pieces for my truck and one of them is going to be a tailgate and right now I'm pulling my spare, I just pulled my spare off or not, I didn't pull my spare off I'm putting a new rim it's okay it's not new but I'm putting my rim that's new to me and I got another tire I'm going to put on there and then I'm going to mount it on the tailgate as I build it. So stay tuned and watch. One of the first things I do here before I start throwing the spare on, this rim's kind of rusty so I'm going to take the wire wheel and just clean it up a little bit, try and knock some of the rust loose and paint it up a little bit. So I just got done painting the rim. Here should be. And then I'm building a tailgate for this thing because the box sides would just flop way up to the side. So I measured top and bottom, got it pretty even, got a bar in the bottom. Gonna run a piece up the side and weld it. And then I'm gonna build a tailgate like on the inside, pretty much the same exact style, but like in the inside and up a little bit. That way I can swing it open, maybe mount the spare someplace on it, but yeah. Look at that. The box sides are straight. Whoa. Hey guys, uh, it's been here and this is about a month later after I first started filming the first part of this video. And the reason why it's been a while since I uploaded video because I really don't have a lot of time and stuff to be working on stuff right now. And my car blew up, so any money I have is not really going to be going towards an off-road truck for a while. Anyways, so what I'm going to do is just kind of some cheap stuff that I've always wanted to do to this truck. So I'm going to flip this camera around here. Actually, before I get into that, I'm going to get into the truck. I did some wheeling with my buddy this weekend. We were up around in a field and going through some really deep mud and then we uh, hit some trails too and while we were doing some trail riding I really wish I would have had a bumper made that's why this metal is here right now because I'm making a bumper but I bashed a chunk of the grill in and this is the really good part over here I patched the side of the box and I don't know if you can really see it but yeah there you, there you can see it pretty good <laughs> But uh, otherwise the tires work pretty decent. Um, you either gotta rev it up super high or you just gotta dog it really, like really slow. And then you'll go through like a lot of shit. But another thing is I need either some sort of locker or different di differentials front and rear. So that's gonna be something to come in the future possibly. And another thing I've been thinking, I really like the stance of the truck right now. Like. I'd like the front end to be a few inches higher so that way the wheel's not tucked super tight because you know it's kind of looks like crap right here it's like got like two inches probably but I look on the internet and I look at people who have four inch lift kits and it looks like the 37's look like they're like a stock truck with a 31 they just look tiny then I'd have to get bigger tires then before you know it you can't take it through the woods because you're smashing into every tree on the planet but here's what the finished product of the um, bracing ended up as. I took a can of bed liner, just a little like rattle can of bed liner, and I sprayed it down real cool. Not real cool, but I sprayed it down. She's awesome. Another thing that needs to be fixed sometime soon. Bumper. Anyways. Back to the topic of a bumper, I'm building a front bumper right now, and this 
I have honestly no idea what this is. I feel like it's a piece of like very old pipe for plumbing. But it's made out of steel. It's not a cast iron pipe. I would not use cast iron because that would be stupid. But if you come over here, this pipe and this pipe are twins. They want to be mated together to make one pipe to wrap around. But the significance of these two pipes is great. They've been in how many trucks? Well, not these two specific pipes. But this has come from a series of pipes that were in a roll bar in my original F-150, which was the same era of this. I had the roll bar in the back. If you remember, go back and watch one of my old videos. It's just called Off-Road Truck Build. And then there's like three of them, I think. And then we painted this roll bar to put in the back. We put it in the back and we beat the crap out of that thing. I cut it in pieces, and those are there was like originally like a hooked piece. And then these two kind of ran backwards from that. And these I cut off and I used those other two pieces for a, like an interior roll bar. And that's going to be going in my K10. So honestly, these, this roll bar has been put to use. So I'm going to freaking bam, bam, cut them off together on the truck. Break. <laughs> so I got those uh, two pieces of the roll bar welded together. So it's a solid pipe now, and it's on the truck. Like honestly, if you wanted a cheap bumper, there you go. But I wanted to do more with it. So what I did was it's got the bends in it. I don't really want it to stick out like that far because there's some tight spots in the woods you gotta get through some days. And like that's not gonna cut it. You're just gonna either bend the shit out of your bumper or not make it through tight areas so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it like right as it starts to bend there so it's like even with the side of the truck there and uh, another thing like I wanted to make this super tight to the front end of the truck but at the same time I wanted it out a little ways so if you do hit a tree or something it doesn't bust the crap out of your grill or anything and I'm gonna run an extra support on the inside right there and maybe one down across the middle there too on the frame so that way it's extra beefy and then I'm gonna somehow I gotta figure out how I can get a piece of metal I don't know if there's like a there's a shop in town here maybe they can bend it but I wanna bend a piece that goes up over and down and then a support on each side so it's kinda like a pre-runner looking rig I feel like those are kind of sweet looking bumpers and it'll actually serve a purpose too actually hitting something but I feel like it looks pretty cool actually the way it is right now because it's got like a little bit of a V in the front and I kind of did that so that way it would look pretty cool so it wasn't just a just a straight bar across so yeah I'm gonna go try and find a bent piece of metal so I can get her on there So, we went and got a piece of uh, metal bent and got some side pieces and we're going to weld her up. Right. We got the welder fired up. We got Zach doing some welding. But uh, we got that middle piece in and we got the side support. Just kind of tacked on there for right now. But it honestly looks pretty sweet. And then I'm going to mount my lights right here. Awesome. Throw a big bead for him. Oh geez. Your ground fall no, off? Man. I don't know, but Oh yeah. Ben, what do you guys see? Yep. You gotta see about yourself. So I just got finished uh, spraying down the bumper with this Bondo heavy duty rubberized undercoating. And the thing that I really like about this stuff is like it dries and it looks like a very like professionally painted or professionally bed linered thing that you just did because I know you can't see everything perfectly in the video but it actually looks really good. 
I, I don't remember if I showed last clip or not, if I showed that I cut them little hooks off at the end. I was gonna, originally I said I was gonna run a little piece off to the side here, like a little plate off to the side, and then run a brace in there. But I actually like it how it looks now. And I did weld in a couple of little tabs for my lights. So I'm gonna put them lights in pretty quick, but I'm gonna leave it like this for a while because I honestly think it looks pretty badass. So if you think this looks cool, leave a comment. Tell me what you think about it. If you think it looks stupid, tell me. If you think it looks cool, you can tell me too. But uh, I'm gonna mount my lights up here in a second and then I'm gonna show you another video. So here she is guys, it's the final product. I think it looks pretty sweet. Like, you know, I just set, like, I just bolted lights in there. They're not, they're not, uh, tightened up right now or wired in. They're just cut in there loosely, but personally, I think this makes the truck look like a thousand times better. Again, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Don't forget to hit that like, subs like and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys again next video.